What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, I wanna talk about the most difficult skill move to defend. All right guys, I really think I can do it today. I really think I can get under two minutes. So, let's throw the time on the screen and let's get started. The most difficult skill move to defend is the body faint. Without a question, 100% a boring body faint. I honestly wish I could give a more exciting answer. I really do. It would make a better video, it'd be more exciting, but it's just not true. When I'm playing fullback and I'm marking a winger, the absolute worst situation to be in is when that winger collects the ball with time and space and he starts driving straight at me. I immediately start taking a step or two back trying to prepare for what skill move he's gonna do and all he does is dip his shoulder hard inside or hard outside and really sells that he's going that way. As a fullback in this moment, I have to start cheating and have to start preparing in case he really does just sprint down the line or cut inside. I have to start moving. And the second I get off balance, they push the ball the opposite way. Whether they dip outside and push the ball inside or they dip inside and push the ball outside. That is the hardest thing to mark. Every other flashy skill move out there definitely can be effective and they definitely can work. But even with those skill moves, it's usually the body faint combined with the skill move that fools the defender. The actual dancing on the ball, the skill work, the fast feet that a lot of people love really isn't that dangerous if they just stay in front of you. But the minute they start to drive inside, outside and really sell that fake, that's when we have to get off balance and move. And that's when we can be exploited. And I think understanding that right there is a huge, huge difference between professional level players and amateurs. Professional level players really understand that concept. And majority of the time when they're taking on somebody 1v1, it's a body faint, it's a change of direction, change of pace, change of speed. That's what they're using to trick the defender, not necessarily the actual dancing skill work on the ball. Of course, they still do the skill work at times, but that's combined heavily with an aggressive body faint. And to illustrate that point, I randomly stumbled upon a, a game from the 2019-2020 Premier League season, Norwich City versus Manchester City, and I broke down that game, analyzed the entire game for every single 1v1 skill move done in the entire 90 minutes. I then went in and cut up every single flashy skill move that happened in the game. And in my head, I viewed a flashy skill move as anything more complex than just a standard body feint or a cut of the ball. So here we go. Here is every single skill move more complex than the body feint done in this game. Towards the halfway line in Otamendi. Now John Stones. Good ball into the path of Bernardo Silva on the right wing. Comes skipping into the penalty area. Jamal Lewis goes to meet him. They've got the ball, ball watching, Sterling got behind him, had a free header, should have scored, hit the post. This is some game, it's Bernardo Silva, into the penalty area he goes, gets it across, comes off a nice... Byram's nodded it forward, into space on the right wing, Puki catches up with it, tries to step over, gets past Sinchenko and wins Michael it. Michael here for Jesus, great tackle from Byram, Jesus has picked it up again on the edge of the six-yard box, it's so busy in there he can't get the shot away. Opportunity now in this game, here's Aguero, aims the ball out towards the right-hand side, Mares gathers, Mares on the front foot against Jamal Lewis, gets the cross in, oh, Lewis makes the two minutes and 15 seconds of the stoppage time to go. The Carroll Road crowd that are whistling, that's too optimistic. On There's... the left, brings it into the penalty area for Manchester City, tees up Gabriel Jesus, who's going to get the shot in, no, Godfrey blocks, shot comes in eventually, and Kroll saves again! Over 90 minutes of play from 25-plus Premier League players that stepped on the pitch, only seven skill moves were done. And those seven skill moves were only performed by five players. What did we have? We had Bernardo Silva, Gabriel Jesus, Kyle Walker, Mares, and Puki. So that means out of the 25 plus players that stepped on the pitch, 20 of them didn't do anything more complicated than a body feint or a cut. And even if we analyze the seven skill moves that I determined were flashy, they really weren't even that flashy. What did we have? We had a step over, a double step over, a couple chops behind the leg, and then we had Gabriel Jesus in the box with a couple pretty skillful moves. And that first move from Gabriel Jesus was my favorite move, but even with that, it really wasn't a skill on the ball. What really tricked the defenders, or tricked me even watching that, was his torso, was his body really selling that action to the left before quickly tapping the ball back to the right. That's what got us. But the question is, why is this? Why are these pros that are so skilled getting paid so much money playing so simply? Because at the professional level, it's about being effective. And the more complicated a move is, the lower the success rate. Even if that success rate drops from 94% to 92%, you're still not being as effective as you can be. And I have to say this, but there are definitely moments in the game where you have to get creative and you have to try something special. That's football. But you just 
just have to realize that those moments really are few and far between. Most of the time, these pros are trying to be effective to win the game. I'm 1v1 with a defender right now. What move can I do right now to have the highest chance of getting a little bit of separation from this defender so that I can whip in across and get an assist? What should I do on the top of the box right here to get that foot of space in order to hit a shot? Most of the time, it's a body faint. And that's why a body faint is the most difficult skill move to defend. So I kind of went a little bit more in depth into that topic than I originally had planned. So <laughs> I, think, I think I'm think i over two minutes. But if you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.